The following sports presentation is brought to you by the PC TV Network, powered by Television, your hometown station. We're home for you. It's Earth's Little Heaven, the PC TV Network. PC TV Network, your hometown station. We're home for you. That's our slogan, but I dare adjust. And it's the truth, and it fits best. The PC TV Network, your number one source for local sports with your favorite host, Bernie, Dave, Al, and Scott. The PC TV Network, we're home for you. It's more than a slogan, it's all true. Local programming, stream 24 7. The PC TV Network. It's Earth's Little Heaven, the PC TV Network. Check out channels 22, 28, and 98. Tune in. It's sure to be great. The PC TV Network.com, uh-huh. The PC TV Network.com, uh-huh. The PC TV Network.com, uh-huh. Make sure you support PC TV Network. PC TV Network.com. Your hometown station. From Springford High School, the PC TV Network proudly presents the Pioneer Athletic Conference Boys Basketball Championship. It is Upper Marion and Springford. Hello, everybody. I'm Al Ganoza, joined by Dave Caldwell. Dave, first of all, before we talk about this game, what an incredible night of semifinals. I missed it. I feel like I'm a loser for missing it. <laughs> it's just been an incredible year in the pack. Uh, so many great games here on the PC TV network. You can say epic, you can say thriller, you can say nail biter, you can say barn burner, but both games, both teams finding a way to survive double overtime. Spring Ford beating Pottstown and Upper Marion with a tremendous win over Perk Valley. Tonight, Upper Marion, they are the uh, champions in the Frontier Division. Right. Uh, I've not seen them play this year. Coach Q has a great team, coaches in his ninth year. They won the Frontier Division. They are really playing great basketball. Um, Zaire Etheridge has come back from football injury. He just started with them like a week or 10 days ago, doing great work, and they get after you, and they never stop. They are a relentless, gritty team. Going to be a big challenge for Springford tonight. Springford still, uh, still number one seat, right, in the district? Yep. I wonder if that pressure can be kind of getting to them after a while. It's interesting you say that because that's one of the things Coach Dempsey's talked about is that they're facing everybody's best. Everybody looks at their record and their number one district seed, and they're coming after them with their best game, their best effort, and they really got to be ready to go. He feels like they played a little recently back on their heels, playing not to lose. He wants to play to win tonight because both teams really get after you. Should be another terrific barn burner, exciting game, and uh, look forward to it. Why not? All of them have been that we've covered. We'll have your opening tip coming up right after this. Looking for family-friendly, pet-friendly, waterproof floors? Carpet One has you covered. With a huge selection of waterproof flooring, including luxury vinyl, laminate, tile, and introducing Oath by Resista, the next generation of waterproof carpets. Soft, lush, and ultra tough. Spill, soil, and bleach resistant. With a 10 year no exclusions warranty. Carpet One Floor and Home, your choice for waterproof flooring. Hi, it's Rob with Keystone Window. Inflation got you? Make sure you call those other companies with free windows. When you call, ask if you can get the free ones first, just to make sure it's such a great deal. That'll get them scrambling. We will never inflate prices just to say free. Keystone's Energy Star Windows, installed for up to $80 off. I will save you thousands. Call Keystone Window today, 267-308-2500. Better windows and honest price. Need new windows, pick up the phone. Yakalak Construction, serving the Tri-County area since 1946. Family owned, free estimates, all types of concrete work, sidewalks, foundations, steps, curbs, and more. Professional service and quality. Give them a call, 610-323-8134. As Springport's own Samantha Tobin sings the national anthem.
caught. Did I do it? Now, for the start of the That's round, the Eagles the Vikings, the number one, the six one, sophomore guard, number one. Starting line on first of all. Upper Marion, Devin Nelson, we're in number one. Junior, number two, Nick Smiley. Nick Smiley, a junior. A six two, He's wearing number two. Zade Etheridge, senior. Six foot junior, number 13, Colin Hershorn. Colin Hershorn. That is six three, senior four, number 21, Devin Swayze. And Devin Swayze is your final starter. He's wearing number 21. And now for the starters. And Springboard wearing white. EJ e. Campbell. The sex junior. Board, number three, Jacob Jacob Nguyen. Number three, he's only a sophomore. Caleb Little, 5'10", senior. Tommy Kelly. Dave, he's another and sophomore. Senior forward, number 20, Alex Lewis. And the fifth starter, number 20, Alex Lewis, Lewis a senior. Tonight's officials, Pat Tobler, Nate Alcott, and Jim Carlin. Do a little fist pumping long press row here. Yeah. It's a good atmosphere, man. There are a lot of uh, a lot of people here tonight. Great student section, Spring Ford. Looks like they're sporting a little Valentine pink and uh, the Upper Marion student section in black. You know, I see uh, we'll probably get people from a lot of different schools. I saw the Reed family from PJP here. Yeah, it's always cool at the finals and the, and the semifinals. The whole league is out. Coaches, fans, basketball fans from all over the pack. Great atmosphere and a great venue here at Springfield. It's going to be Tommy Kelly. And Devin Swayze jumping. Start off with some coaches, keys, coach. Q's keys to win for Upper Marion. No Spring Ford players' tendencies make Spring Ford uncomfortable in half court sets. And they want to play with a down 10 mentality like they did Here against PV. I'll talk more about that later on in the Brown Cup. Upper Marion. The Spring Ford in a man to man, and they get a turnover out of it, out of bounds, but it's going to be Upper Marion ball. Both teams tremendously defensive. Great job. Both will really get after you. Be a lot of ball pressure outside the arc the entire night by both clubs. For two, Nick Smiley being guarded by Caleb Little. Oh, that called a walk. That was a good call. That was a double shuffle. Now, in the NBA, you do not call that. Etheridge shuffling the puppies. <laughs> Maybe a little nerve here in the uh, championship. Albert Marion also in man to man. EJ Campbell. Looks like they're calling a set play. Alex Lewis. Little has the ball jump up on him. There's Wen. Wow. Well, that's a good start. That's what he can do from 25 and in. He is so dangerous to the Rams. Nice take, but coming up empty was Etheridge. He just had an amazing first half at Methacton last time that I saw him. Oh, there's a nice little ball fake. Little cleans up his own mess. Still comes up empty. Little can rebound the ball. He's the hero of the double overtime victory with some free throws. Devin Swayze, nice take and reverse layup. Swayze does great work in the interior for the Vikings. 
Upper Marion with a little in your gut defense out 20 feet. Left hand to take, no good by Alex Lewis. And here comes Upper Marion. One is Devin Nelson. Drive baseline, Devin Swayze. Loses the handle, and Wen comes up with it. Now Wen's tied up. You will see that a lot tonight. Bodies on the floor getting after the loose. Spring forward basketball. So an interesting sidebar, talking with Coach Q. I mentioned one of his keys was down 10 mentality. Apparently, one of the writers in the Mercury picked spring forward by 19, and <laughs> Coach said, I guess I got to redo my speech. We got to have a down 19 mentality. A little gone against Smiley. It's Tommy Kelly out top. Now Campbell. Good ball movement by the guys in white. Good defense by the guys in blue. Lewis calling for the ball, was wide open for a split second. That's what pressure does, forces you out of your comfort zone. And sometimes passes aren't on the mark. Campbell nailed as he drives to the hoop. Dave, you've been watching this league a lot closer than I have. And I don't know if we talked about it, but it seems like a lot of teams playing a very good defense. Tremendous defense, and I think that's why the league has been so successful. The tremendous seeds that we have in district throughout the pack in the Liberty and the Frontier Division, and attributed to the great team defense and uh, the tenacity of the teams and the coaching of the coaches. You don't often see a violent block like that not called a foul, but it looks like it got all ball. If you're gonna get an open shot tonight, you're gonna to earn it. Well, there's an open shot. Back iron by Nelson, here comes Springport. And that's what the open shots will be. They'll be from six, eight feet from beyond the arc. Second shot opportunities will be so huge for both ball clubs tonight. That was one of Coach Dempsey's keys. Oh, nice take. Caleb Little found an opening, a rare opening. A rare opening, breakdown on the Viking defense. Nelson out top to Hershorn. There's a three-pointer by Etheridge. And we are tied up. He has been huge not only offensively and defensively for the Vikings, again, coming back from a football injury and just only been back on the hardwood the last seven to 10 days. Oh my God, that was gorgeous. Gorgeous cut to the basket by Campbell. Beautiful curl cut, as you mentioned, by Campbell and a delicious dish by Kelly. Hard work inside Smiley, but look at the defense by Little. Little, a distance for the bucket to Lewis. Beautiful job by Caleb Little, sets up Kelly. Hershorn takes it, oh, a little shake and bake, and the follow by Etheridge. He will shoot too. Should say Lewis on the score. Coach Dempsey going to be the first one going to his bench right here. Three now. Three now. Line change. Average <laughs> hits the bucket. Zach Zollers. Tyree Banks and Michael McKenna check into the game. We're in white. And that's that's the eight-man rotation for Springford. That's pretty, pretty solid, chiseled in granite. As uh, Richie Cotite used to say back in the day, Springford hey. goes with it. Hey, Howard, what do you want me to do, Howard? There's a guy that should be in the Hall of Fame for coaching. Two free throws makes it 9-7. 
Ran in trouble. High ball screen. Open three pointer is back iron for McKenna. Here we come the other way. Nice one and done by the Vikings. Good checkout responsibilities by the Blue Jerseys. Hot, we're going to call another shuffle into the feet and a turnover by Upper Marion. Coach Dempsey's key to win. They got to contain Upper Marion's penetration. They are dribble centric. Don't have too many coaches who said somebody's dribble centric. I love it. They got to push for open looks and they got to limit them to one shot. It's interesting, Al, you know, when you talk to the coaches and you get keys of the game, usually you get two or three. It's a championship game. One coach gave me six, the other <laughs> gave me four. You know the importance of this. Wen with a nice pull up, almost got the second bounce. And again, hustle on the offensive boards. That time it was Zoller. Out of bounds goes KFP. Nick Smiley continues to do nice work for the Upper Marion there. Blanket coverage on win. I like the blue collar look of McKenna with the glasses, like a Kurt Rambus. <laughs> That's, he won't know what I'm talking about. Though. Yeah, we've dated ourselves here early in this broadcast. Oh yeah. <laughs> won't, won't be the first time. <laughs> Upper Marion just working and around the perimeter. There's a ball screen, but good, good pickup on the switch. Spring forward matching oh, up. Oh, oh. What helped defense? It looked like he had an opening, and all of a sudden he got swallowed up. Spring forward doing a nice job communicating in their little matchup. Zone. So Upper Marion to inbound, they trail by a deuce. 130 left to play first period, and there's a steal right off the inbound. Here comes Campbell. Take your time. Campbell off the Zoller screen. Nice reversal, and there's gonna be Banks. Oh. <laughs> Banks checks into the game and checks into the scorebook. Beautiful pivot and rotated his body and squared up and let it soft off the rim. Good shot in the arm for the Spring Ford bench. These two teams, Al, have met earlier in the year in December. Spring Ford won by 15, but Upper Marion's a different ball club. Here comes Caleb Little with 38 seconds left. A little nice dish to Zoller for the bucket. That were a huge assist for the Rams. They've had some pretty passes. Caleb Little continues to impress and have his game to the next level. So oh. impressed with him and Campbell's development this year. All of a sudden, Springford up by six. For Marion looking for the last shot or not. Springford is gonna get the last shot. E.J. Campbell, the junior, with four, four seconds. And they're going to call a, a look like body on that. Looks like that ball was clean. Great job by Campbell recognizing the clock and the situation. Went into three blue jerseys and drew contact. Once again, you're going to have to work hard if you want an open layup. That was not an open layup. Three guys on him. Good help defense. Campbell makes it a seven point game. Six Spring Ford scores in the book. I think that's another great sign for wow. them here in the first quarter. Yeah. 
It's an eight point game. And again, Springfield with uh, a line change. And that will do it. Springfield even contesting the inbound pass. Rams finish with a flourish there. They lead 15-7. At O'Donnell, Weiss, and Matei, our team approach makes all the difference. Anyone entering a nursing home really should consult with an elder law attorney to see whether Medicaid is the appropriate option for them. But it's really important to make sure that you have someone that's familiar with those rules, that works with those rules on a daily basis, that can guide you through the process. I specialize in elder law because I enjoy the clients that I work with, and I really like helping them find solutions for their problems. OWM Law. Your life, your business, your law firm. There once was a haunted house. People said they had heard voices. <laughs> but no one dared to go inside. There's a place for wood in your backyard. We recommend the fire pit. For looks and performance that outlast a wooden deck, make sure your next deck is built with Trex. Engineering what's next in outdoor living. Your Trex expert is A.D. Moyer Lumber, ADMoyer.com. All right, getting ready to start the second quarter of play. Let's see if Springport builds on that lead. That's, that was a good, strong finish to that quarter. Great start for Coach Dempsey and staff. Coach Dempsey in his second year at Springford doing great work. Really, really, for a, a guy who's not teaching in the building, really does a great job of teaching the game, relating to the kids, and him and his staff have done a wonderful job here with this group. Young team. Nice take inside. Missing the shot is Etheridge, but he will shoot a pair. And I think that's that's what Coach Q talked about at the at the quarter. They need to get back to doing the things that they do well, and that is taking the ball to the basket. They settled for a lot of jump shots, and that's what Spring Ford wanted them to do. Etheridge comes right out and gets to the rim and gets to the full strike. Nice, nice looking stroke. David, I'm going to sound like an old fart saying this, but the lost start of the, the mid range jumper is uh, uh, the, the penetration and just a quick pull up, you don't see it that much. No, you don't. And uh, it's important for players to learn all aspects of the offensive game because you never know what defenses are going to throw you away. Right? One of two. Everybody loves the three ball and the power drive. Good denial defense by Upper Marion going all the way out to midcourt. Great communication on the backside, talking through that back screen, Springfield set. There's Wen with an open three. Rattles at home. That's his second three ball tonight. And it's a 10-point lead. Yep, win the Springford's leading score and third leading score in the pack, averaging just over 15 a game. And Boy, I, Springford likes the advantage with him against Hearshorn. Much shorter. Wynn can use his length. Wow, Etheridge with a nice looking stroke of his own. Kelly puts it up a little strong. A nice hustle rebound by Alex Lewis. Campbell oh, what a dip. Oh, my. Tommy he Kelly from Campbell with a beautiful delivery to Kelly on the baseline. And they've had some awesome assists tonight already. Good defense there by Little. Open three on the way. No good. Good hustle on the boards by Elijah Davis. Big guy will go to the line for a couple. You know, Dave, on that last bucket, who was that, Tommy Kelly? Give him credit for even catching the pass because that was a no look zing right <laughs> Campbell dialed it up and Kelly finished it off. This is important, I think, for the Vikings too. That I think they got to convert free throws. Yep. Really important. They can't let Springford get away from them here. 
And that time they get a pair, and it's back to a seven-point game. Hershorn checks back. Er, yeah, Colin Hershorn. Now 21 is Devin Swayze. Hershorn is in there also. And they have Alan Cole, who is also coming off the bench, staying in there. Jacob Little with a nice drive down the lane and a nice little left-hander. Little showing his strength. Ball's loose. Here comes Springboard running. Campbell. Campbell pull up. A little strong. That's a nice pull up, though. Good transition defense by the Vikings. Got a challenge. Campbell. Mentioned Springboard wants to push it. They're going to call a blocking foul. Looks like it was on win. Might have gotten him with a hip. Jacob Noel with the foul. That's win second, so McKenna will probably come in for him. Yep. Once again, win a sophomore at 6'4. I think he has maybe a little more room to grow. Absolutely. A little too strong. And a loose ball foul there called against Tommy Kelly. Fouls all of a sudden are picking up. And Zollers will check back in and, and give Kelly a break. Tommy Kelly also a sophomore. Yeah, as we mentioned, but with some good senior leaders. And there is one of them, Alex Lewis. Two is Nick Smiley. Cullen Hershorn inside with a left hand bank shot is Nick Smiley. And that cuts it to seven again. Smiley off that huge game against PV on Friday night. A little nice spin. Oh, oh, oh. little. Little is having a night. He's had some gorgeous takes to the hoop. Him and Campbell strutting their stuff here on the perimeter for the Rams. That was a wow. sweet spin. And it's back to a nine point lead. Biggest lead of the game was 10. Smiley all the way inside and gets it to go. Smiley with two buckets in a row, badly needed by a Vermeerian. Yeah, great concentration by Nick. Spring forward defenders all over him. Campbell. Campbell! Oh. You know, the Rams not just scoring easy buckets, they're, they're been highlight reel buckets. Andrew, it looks like a quick injury timeout. Yep. You don't come out of a championship game unless a bone is showing. Four oh seven left to play. Second period, and the Rams up 26-17. Springford also area's best defensively, holding opponents to under 45 a game which is terrific. Yep. Hershorn drive and kicks out to Nelson. Good reversal around the perimeter. Good defense by Springford. Good thought, but too much defensive quickness. Little. The way his night is going, I expected that to go in. Great offensive rebound by Zollers. Him and McKenna and Banks have done great work off the bench all season long for the District 1 number one seed Rams. Zollers puts it on the floor and a nice strong take. And it's an 11 point lead. Biggest lead of the night for Springport. Seven of eight, those guys in the books already. You love the way they spread it around and share it.
There's a long one. Good scrap for the ball, and they're gonna call a foul against Smiley. Still nine shooting foul. Going back with going back with win with two fouls with 250 to go. Smart doesn't pick up his third. Springford playing terrific basketball here tonight. They are certainly playing to win. Yeah, and share as always sharing the ball. That was a good call. The, the, the official was giving him a little bit of time, and then he said, okay, that's enough. Upper Marion can be aggressive here. They only have 14 fouls. Yep. They have two to give. And here Sean was in Wynn's grill out there, right here by the scoring <laughs> table. Wynn's been quiet of late. Takes it inside and banks it home. A little off balance, didn't matter. Etheridge trying to work it in baseline. Good D by Little, and they're going to eventually call a foul. Coaches here wanted walking. That's a shooting foul. Again, really important for the Vikings to convert free throws and to stay, stay in sight. You know, the, uh, the Rams have their share of the blue collar guys. Guys who don't look necessarily look to score, but will be unselfish. And if the opportunity is there, will score. Nice look at stroke by Zade Etheridge. How many points does he have now? He now has 10, and wow. he is five of six from the stripe. Leads all scores in the game. Two smooth ones, and it's down to 12. I'm sorry, down to 11. Two o three left to play. Good wow. pass to Little behind the defense, and Little with a nice layup. Springboard doing a nice job on the look tonight and assists. Great execution against the full court pressure. Little broke long. Nice take inside on the other end. Evan Nelson. Another guy that Coach Q would like to get going a little bit more offensively, but they need to get some stops against this high-powered Springford club. Oh, tough luck Campbell on that. Could be little or not. Wow. Another gorgeous feed inside, Alex Lewis. This is a, an assist clinic tonight. Little and Campbell continue to work their magic. Back iron, one and done. Or not. Good hustle by Upper Marion. Still trying to hang tight, down 13, 102 left to play in the period. Etheridge definitely brings the lunch pail mentality to the Vikings. They used to work down low. He has a, a nice looking free throw stroke on him. Etheridge is a senior. All league performer at the football as well. I can see why he's got a nice build. Nice build on him. Look at that, people just going all out for the ball. Springford looking to go a little offense, defense with wind down here at the last minute. 
Edwards, or up, that's not Edwards. It was Elijah Davis taking it in strong. Two shots at the line, foul by Zeller. His second team ninth. Elijah Davis, a junior. Dave, you mentioned about hitting their shots. They have stayed stayed in this game on the foul line. Yeah, they have. They've done great work from the line. They are Nine of 11 from the strike. Unofficially, of course. <laughs> Goes without saying. I have confidence in you, though. That looks like it's going to be upper. Oh, no, they're calling Springford ball. And it looks like Upper Marion's going to bring a little full court pressure. We're going a little, little face guard float here. It's going to let Alex Lewis bring it up. And that's another advantage Springford has a lot of guys who can handle the basketball. Wen, nice little fall away. Nice shot. That's, you know, that is a great move. I don't see why more guys don't do that. Your drives come up, spin around. Win with 10 now. Little with eight. Wow. Colin Hershore with an interesting move. It's, yeah. It's a new Euro step. <laughs> Locking foul they call there on Davis. Three seconds left for Spring Ford. I think these guys have been very consistent how they're calling, calling the game. Yeah, officials have done a nice, nice job silent at both ends. Kelly, nice little snare. Oh, good look. Could have been a 13 point lead, but it's 36 25 after the first half. Dave will be back with a special guest after this. Hi, I'm Joe, and this is Chris, and many of you know us. And we'd like to welcome you to our new showroom here at 618 North Reading Avenue in Boyertown, where we offer Kohler faucets, Moen faucets as well, vanities, tubs, and many accessories. Here we have an operating, high efficiency, Energy Star rated American Standard Furnace combined with a variable speed AC condenser. Uh, let us install one today to start saving you money throughout the heating and cooling season. Here at Patriot, we now offer kitchen and bath designs. So come visit us today at 618 North Reading Avenue or visit our website at www.patriotnp.com. At O'Donnell, Weiss and Mate, our team approach makes all the difference. At OWM, the criminal litigators that we have here are all very experienced courtroom attorneys. You want to have a lawyer who's experienced, who's been in the courtroom, who's argued in front of a jury, who's faced judges, to be able to help you and represent you and make sure your rights are secure. That's experience that you can't just get at other firms. You need to get it here at OWM. OWM Law. Your life. Your business. Your law firm. At Superior Credit Union, we believe in growing stronger together. So we provide products and services to fit your financial needs and accommodate your busy lifestyle. With convenient services like home banking, e-deposits, account alerts, and a free coin counter for members, come see why Superior Credit Union is growing. Visit any one of our three locations in Collegeville, Royers Ford, and our brand new location in Pottstown. Superior Credit Union. We are back here at halftime. Dave Caldwell on the PC TV network and our special guest, Jerry Williams. Jerry, it's great to see you. Um, for all those viewers out there, if this guy looks like a familiar face, he's been around the Pottstown area for 40 some years in the sporting good business, uh, has probably outfitted every school and every coaching staff, whether it's equipment, uh, team sales, 
whatever you need. Um, understand you got a, a new little venture going on. Could you uh, share with us what you got going on there? Yes, yeah, Schuylkill Valley Sports started in 1971, and then in at the end of uh, 2019, I backed off as president after 25 years, and we've had a major change. The name of the company is now SV Sports, um, er, and I'm selling teams and uh, team sales guy out in the road now. And uh, what happened is the new ownership that came in, our CEO is the head was the head of team sales for Nike. Our president owned Sneaker Villa, and our marketing director was the head of marketing for Nike. And he signed Tiger Woods, Kobe Bryant, all kinds of e expertise in the sporting goods industry. And uh, they have huge plans, and it's totally different company than Schuylkill Valley Sporting Goods. Uh, st still three parts, uh, team, retail, and internet. But our retail, when COVID hit, they closed all the stores, as people probably noticed, and their view on retail is they go to the big sports ventures. Spooky Nook in Lancaster, we're in there, but there's a place in Atlanta. We're opening in Cincinnati uh, this spring. Big sports, million square feet, and we have a store in there, and we specialize in um, hooking up all those teams that come in for tournaments. And then on the uh, team side, um, we just hooked on with uh, supplying schools in the South in the ACBU, historically uh, black universities, and we are the largest sporting goods, black-owned sporting goods company in North America right now. So a lot of changes, a lot of good, exciting things. Um, our e-com business is strong, svsports.com and just countless new ways of doing things. And our headquarters is now in Souderton, so we don't have that local. But uh, people pick her up from my home now, <laughs> right in Royersford. Well, that's great, Jerry. It sounds like you guys have all bases covered and so much experience. Uh, how could our viewers get in touch with you and your company? Again, our website is svsports.com, and there's an exciting new thing, as you know, as the newspapers are starting to lessen, um, they've taken a social media platform and you click on local sports and primarily it's right now in Berks County and we cover all the schools that we deal with. And so we're out at the events taking pictures and one of the biggest things, if you go there and svsports.com and click on local sports, you'll see interviews. We did, uh, recently we did an interview, some. Uh, Division One Springford football player, and it's not just about sports; it's about all the other things that goes into the, the athlete. And it's been a great reception. Like again, I said, it's in uh, Berks County primarily now. Paul Roberts from WEEU is running that, and uh, now it's going to be starting to move into Montgomery County. I'm here taking pictures tonight for the website, so uh, it's all kinds of social media, Twitter. Uh, Facebook, everything, um, but it, it, it's a real exciting part of how we're meshing the schools we deal with and getting sports highlights and profiles of, of great local athletes. Well, Jerry, it was great to see you, and thanks so much. And I just want to tell our viewers, this guy's a good guy. He'll give you great service, fair price, great equipment. Glad he's involved with the PC Network. Great to see you, Jerry. Best of luck to nice you and SV Sports. Thank you so much for your sponsorship. <laughs> we'll be back with the second half here on the PCTV Network. Hi, it's Rob with Keystone Window. Inflation got gotcha? you? Make sure you call those other companies with free windows. When you call, ask if you can get the free ones first, just to make sure it's such a great deal. That'll get them scrambling. We will never inflate prices just to say free. Keystone's Energy Star Windows installed for up to $80 off. I will save you thousands. Call Keystone Window today, 267-308-2500. Better windows and honest price. For more than 50 years, Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery has served its community with expert dental care, offering patients dental implants and a full menu of procedures for many types of dental problems, including bone grafting, wisdom teeth, impacted canines, facial trauma, jaw surgery, oral pathology, TMJ disorders, and sleep apnea. 
Get the smile you've always wanted. Contact Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery today. At O'Donnell, Weiss and Matei, our team approach makes all the difference. Business law is complex because it's easy to make costly mistakes. OWM is able to handle any area of law that a business or individual in our community needs. We are the ones who are uniquely talented and uniquely positioned to do that for your benefit. That's what drives me to come to work every day. OWM Law. Your life. Your business. Your law firm. Dave, how about uh, you want to check some scores out there now? Yeah, for our leading scores for Upper Marion, Zade Etheridge leads all scores with 12, Smiley with four, a couple other guys with two and three. For the Rams, Jacob Wynn leads with 10, Little with eight, Campbell six, Zollers and Lewis with four, but Springford just a very, very impressive first half. They, they have looked good on offense, sharing the ball. They've looked good on the I, I can't imagine a high school team playing a better half of basketball. Yeah, and I go back to Coach Keys. You know, limit them to one shot, check the box. Um, contain dribble penetration against Upper Marion. Check the box, push the ball for open looks. They have certainly done that. And then you said the exclamation point on sharing the basketball. Oh, just, just some textbook highlight real passes tonight. So they lead by 11. And that's a great start as Tommy Kelly, remember he's only a sophomore. And you know Coach Dempsey and staff talking about play to win, keep the pressure on because Upper Marion was down 10 against PV in the fourth and mounted that great comeback. They get a nice take there. Good defense, but still a nice, nice bucket by Nelson. Win with good defense being played by Hershorn. And here comes Nelson with a steal. Good hustle back by Tommy Kelly. But it will be Upper Marion Ball. It's interesting to look and watch to see what Upper Marion does here out of the halftime. They wanted to get Nelson involved. They go right to him first possession. And in second possession, they're looking to push it up the floor, try to get some easy baskets, some transition things. And stay away from that stifling spring forward defense. Alex Lewis. And here we come the other way. Nice. And a nice bucket. Devin Swayze makes the lead at, down to single digits. Good defense by Upper Marion. Great, great. Passing by the Vikings. Caleb Little out top to McKenna. Over to Wynn. Wynn going against Nelson with a high screen. Good challenge by Etheridge. Yep. Coach Q and staff won a double dribble there on win. Might have got away with one. Smiley will put it in the ground. Good deed by McKenna. Jacob! Oh, the gaps. There's Hershorn from way back. And nice rebound by Wynn. Another, another young player who's really developed this year, Jacob Wynn. Last year, pretty much a jump shooter. Now doing a little bit of everything for the Rams. Tommy Kelly with a, that's a nice looking fadeaway jumper. Here we go. Second back in for the Rams, DJ Kelly. Tommy Kelly, a sophomore, man. He's gonna put some pounds on that frame, probably grow a couple more inches. He handles the ball well too. Coaches probably tell him to go to all three lunches at yeah. school lunch. <laughs> 40 to 29. Win from, oh my. Wow. Oh, wow. Just in front of the logo, unlimited range. <laughs> and he's hustling on defense. There's Hershort. Hershort with a nice little Euro step for the bucket. Beautiful take. 
and slashing through the Springford defense by Hirschhorn. Win never could quite get his footing there. And it's going to be Springport basketball. Springport, a lot of substitutions. Yeah. Keeping guys fresh. Campbell with a nice drive, but can't get the roll. A good hustle by Zollers. And they get another opportunity. Yep. So big in postseason basketball. Good take by Little. Could not connect. We're going to get the big guy Elijah Davis checking back into the game. Going to give Swayze a break. Davis with three free throws the first half. Comes in, gives him a couple minutes. Interior player. I'll tell you, if you're one of the top eight, you don't want to get too comfy on the bench on that springboard bench. Hey! Elijah, Elijah Davis! And I just declared him an interior player, and he steps back and hits a three. Way to go, Elijah. It's nine again. There's Zollers, figures, why not? Left them open. Here comes Upper Mary with a chance to cut it below nine. Oh, a little too strong there by Anthony. That was her shot. Etheridge, that would have really been huge for them to get it to seven, making some progress. Challenges are great coming back against Springford. Just under four minutes left to play. There's Wen. Another nice pull up, and he gets the dribble home. Looking for family friendly, pet friendly, waterproof floors? Carpet One has you covered. With a huge selection of waterproof flooring, including luxury vinyl, laminate, tile, and introducing Oath by Resista, the next generation of waterproof carpets. Soft, lush, and ultra tough. Spill, soil, and bleach resistant. With a 10 year no exclusions warranty. Carpet One Floor and Home, your choice for waterproof flooring. There's a place for wood in your backyard. We recommend the fire pit. For looks and performance that outlast a wooden deck, make sure your next deck is built with Trex, engineering what's next in outdoor living. Your Trex expert is A.D. Moyer Lumber, ADMoyer.com. Dave, you know earlier I, I said the law started the mid-range jumper, but Wayne has a nice mid-range jumper. He's got all the shots. He's, he's 25 feet and in. And uh, as I mentioned, last year he was pretty much a jump shot guy. This year he's got mid-range, he's got a more of a take it to the basket game. We saw him doing some rebounding, his defense has improved. He's improved in so many areas and credit to his hard work and, and the coaching staff and the team around him. Hard to believe he's only a sophomore. Springford doing some double teaming. There's Wynn rotating down on the baseline, getting a hand in the passing lane. You fall asleep, you give up a layup, which he did not. Nice take inside off the glass by Smiley. He earned it. That was not an easy shot. All of those shots by Upper Marion have been earned, that's for sure. A little, bit, little in trouble. Back out to Campbell. Forward by nine. 307 left to play third period. Little taking it strong to the hole. Nice block! Got up there, but no points. Etheridge. Etheridge has a block. Follow no good. Campbell with a little double clutch. 
follow by Zoller. That's the blue collar follow. Yep, that's what you gotta do. Be there for your teammates, cleaning things up. Great senior leadership. Davis. Davis with a couple of one balls in this quarter. Timeout up the It's an eight point game, 227 left to play in the third. Yakalak Construction, serving the Tri-County area since 1946. Family owned, free estimate, all types of concrete work, sidewalks, foundations, steps, curbs, and more. Professional service and quality. Give them a call, 610-323-8134. At Superior Credit Union, we believe in growing stronger together. So we provide products and services to fit your financial needs and accommodate your busy lifestyle. With convenient services like home banking, e-deposits, account alerts, and a free coin counter for members, come see why Superior Credit Union is growing. Visit any one of our three locations in Collegeville, Royers Ford, and our brand new location in Pottstown. Superior Credit Union. All right, Dave, what are we, how are we looking scores by? We got a couple of threes here from Elijah Davis. Yeah, I love the big fellas come in. I declared him an interior player, and he steps out and hits two big threes and cuts the lead to eight. It's uh, down to eight the, since maybe the uh, first quarter. It was 15-7 yeah. at the end of the first quarter, so Upper Marion making a little bit of a move. I think that the biggest lead has been 13, right? 226 left to play in this period. See what Springford runs out of the timeout. Upper Marion continues to play man to man. I'm surprised. Oh, nice pull up off the glass, but no good by Campbell. And a loose ball. Win. Pull up 14 footer. Wow. So assertive and aggressive he's become. Jacob Wynn now with 17 and a wow. turnover. Great response by Springford in the timeout. You know Coach Dempsey challenging them to play to win. Don't play not to lose. Felt that's going on here some at the end of the season, the last few games. They're, um, they're not working the clock either. I guess that's good. That can make you get complacent if you try to take some time off the clock. Yeah, look at a little, a little diamond in one. And uh, Yusuf Riley is playing win man to man. Good movement there. And there's Davis again. All right, kind of short arm that one. He should have held that. Pose and follow through. Oh, Campbell with hard luck on the roll. Oh, that's got to be a foul, right? Yeah. Got a body. Got a body there on Nick Smiley. He'll go to the line. Vikings getting out and running. These irons look uh, very unforgiving, the rims. They're actually pretty, they're pretty solid. They're, okay. Pretty solid. Speaking of the rims, we got to give a little shout out here to uh, Danny Miscavige, who new athletic director taking over for Mickey, has done great work here and hosting the uh, final six, I guess you now got to call it. But, uh, been Mickey's loyal assistant for so many years and happy for him taking over and the uh, basketball liaison for AD, so great work. Girls final tomorrow night, Springford at PV tomorrow night. That'll be another outstanding game here on the PCTV network. Hopper Marion just showed a, a look of full court pressure and then backed off. We're inside of a minute. So they're doing, uh, now they're man, but they were diamond and one on, on win. Uh, 42 seconds left. Campbell pull up 17 footer front iron. 
And they're going to call a loose ball foul. Looks like Tommy Kelly. Foul on Tommy Kelly. Second foul. Tommy's Tom, Tom not believing it. Yep, both teams doing a good job moving their feet here in quarter number three. Springford only with two fouls. Upper Marion with one, so both teams can be super aggressive down the stretch run. Etheridge, giant step, no, and a rebound by Zoli. Take one shot here, 20 seconds left. I think if anybody's going to take it, it would be when. And <laughs> there he goes. And there it is. <laughs> oh, my. He's put on a show again tonight. Looking for family friendly, pet friendly, waterproof floors? Carpet One has you covered. With a huge selection of waterproof flooring, including luxury vinyl, laminate, tile, and introducing Oath by Resista, the next generation of waterproof carpets. Soft, lush, and ultra tough spill soil and bleach resistant with a 10-year no exclusions warranty carpet one floor and home your choice for waterproof flooring so car stories on pc tv uh, i've been doing it for many years it's a good advertising tool for the business plus i enjoy doing it i enjoy sharing uh, the shop and the different things that you should know about your car with people if you need a place to highlight your business, call Gus at PCTV and check it out. Uh, it's a good way to, to inform people about your business. You'll get new customers from it, and uh, you can share your knowledge of your particular trade. Dave, we're just talking once again about, about when Jacob Wynn. And I, I'm just so impressed with his maturity and calm manner on offense. Yeah. Uh, again, just huge steps for him between his freshman and sophomore year with his overall game, the strength of his game. Again, getting away from that just standstill jump shot, puts it on the floor, delivers, defense, rebounding. Really, really impressed with that uh, stepping up into his sophomore year. Good stuff, Jacob Wynn. Hershorn. Over to number 20, Allen Cole. 13 point game, Hershorn. Inside Etheridge will put it up. Contested shot. And a foul on Davis. Got him from behind, non shooting foul, so it'll be Spring Ford basketball. Hey, for a team to play tough defense like this, this is a lot of work in practice, shuffles and stuff like that. Absolutely. You, a lot of work all year round to it's develop that teamwork and great presentation by the coaching staff. Caleb oh, Woodle has been a little quiet in this half, but he makes a nice little mid-range jumper there. Little now with 12. But getting back to the defensive thing is is the coaches have to be able to present it, verbiage, slides, responsibilities, so all the kids understand and can make all these great plays and play so well together. So impressive, yeah, you Coach Dempsey great, and staff. You gotta be in great shape to play. Let's play that intense defense. Good piece of officiating there. He knew he had it wrong. So his partner got some help. Yeah, these guys have done a nice job. Etheridge from deep. Etheridge! Oh, Upper Marion has hit some three balls tonight. That'll cut it to 12. At O'Donnell, Weiss, and Matei, our team approach makes all the difference. Anyone entering a nursing home really should consult with an elder law attorney to see whether Medicaid is the appropriate option for them. But it's really important to make sure that you have someone that's familiar with those rules, that works with those rules on a daily basis, that can guide you through the process. I specialize in elder law because I enjoy the clients that I work with, and I really like helping them find solutions for their problems. OWM Law. Your life, 
your business, your law firm. For more than 50 years, Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery has served its community with expert dental care, offering patients dental implants and a full menu of procedures for many types of dental problems, including bone grafting, wisdom teeth, impacted canines, facial trauma, jaw surgery, oral pathology, TMJ disorders, and sleep apnea. Get the smile you've always wanted. Contact Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery today. Dave, I'll tell you, both, uh, both these teams look like they have a guy they can go to to get the scoring done. Yeah, Etheridge there with his first basket, and that's a huge basket. They need to get him going. He has the strength to uh, take on that interior of the Springford defense. So big three ball there for Etheridge. He now has 15. Springford ball, they lead by 12. We are under seven minutes left to play in the fourth period. It's been Springford in the lead the whole way. Their largest lead was 15 just before that three-pointer. See, see, see if Springford takes a little air out of it. <laughs> yeah, I guess they did. About three seconds worth. And a three ball by Campbell. Big response to the timeout and the little mini run by Upper Marion. Springford has answered the bell every time here yep. in the second half. I think their closest has been eight. Everybody working hard to deny the ball and it works. There's Wynn with a steal. And credit that a lot to Zollers too for helping out and denying the pass. It's team defense and team offense. And a drive by Campbell makes it a 17 point cushion. Campbell with the high octane, high beams on drive. Ah, the goal offensive foul was his short. Upper Marion in trouble now, Dave. Yeah, they are. It's, uh, you can see in their body language. And uh, that, that's what Spring Ford can do to you. They bring eight deep. They play relentless defense. They are relentless offensively. They challenge you mentally and physically. And uh, they are playing great basketball. I know Coach Dempsey, we talked about this a couple times about them being back on their heels and not playing the win. They are playing great spring forward, assertive, aggressive basketball tonight. I said in the first half, it almost looked like they played a perfect half. They haven't regressed any at all in the third. Yeah, you felt like Upper Marion made a little run and Springford won the third quarter 16-14, so they extended that lead. Campbell finds an opening, dishes to Little, but Little has it blocked nicely by Nelson. But another nice interior pass by Springford. They've done this all night. Continually attacking. We love that mentality. Oh, here comes Upper Marion, Etheridge. Scores, and we'll go to Foul committed by Nguyen Etheridge. He's gonna get the step to the line, shooting one more. They need to lean on number five yeah. for the big run here, Upper Marion. Alex Lewis checks back into the game. Yeah, they just shuttle them in and shuttle yep. them out. Fresh, fresh troops, guys who come in, and, and they're, they're not losing much when these guys come in. These guys come in and do a great job defensively and offensively. Three-point play by Etheridge. Much needed, has cut it to 14. And a little full court man-to-man -man now. Double team. Uh -oh. Nice little take there off the left by Alex Lewis. A little fighting for the loose ball. Again, there you see it open court. They don't convert, but they get a second opportunity.
Wait, another nice pull up, and oh he's on fire tonight. It's just such technique. Jacob win a prime time performance tonight so on the championship level. I love it. Yeah, and they're forcing up for Marion in about a But Nelson connects. It's now 14 points again. Upper Marion's now at the point where they, they can't trade baskets. No. They really need to start making a move. Coach Dempsey takes a timeout here with his player double team right in front of us. Hi, I'm Joe, and this is Chris, and many of you know us. And we'd like to welcome you to our new showroom here at 618 North Reading Avenue in Boyertown where we offer color faucets, melon faucets as well, vanities, tubs, and many accessories. Here we have an operating, high efficiency, Energy Star rated American Standard Furnace combined with a variable speed AC condenser. Uh, let us install one today to start saving you money throughout the heating and cooling season. Here at Patriot, we now offer kitchen and bath designs. So come visit us today at 618 North Reading Avenue or visit our website at www.patriotnt.com. Yakalak Construction, serving the Tri-County area since 1946. Family owned, free estimates, all types of concrete work, sidewalks, foundations, steps, curbs, and more. Professional service and quality. Give them a call, 610 323 8134. Dave, I just complimented the cheerleaders. You see the acrobatics of the cheerleaders nowadays. So like, impressive. Oh, double So back impressive. My shoulder just went out watching them. <laughs> All right, 447 left to play, fourth period. And it's a 14 point game. Oh, man. Up for Marion, cranking it up on defense. They have to at this point. You know, the other thing that I like about Springford with the solid eight man rotation is these guys are all comfortable playing with each other. You see the, the timing point. and the reads, the curl cuts. And pays off in a Campbell bucket. Up another nice pass. Come on, Tommy! Nick Smiley taking it to the hoop. Bring Smiley out with three out. scores oh, in double digits. Committed by Tommy Kelly, his third team four. Dave, I have the feeling if you don't play tough defense, you don't stay in the game much longer. <laughs> nope. We've always said defense gives you a chance every night. You almost feel like that Spring Ford's defense has worn down the Vikings. You look at their yep. their body language. It, ha it has to. They just don't relent at all. Every what, shot they have is contested. And that's what great defense does. It can break the spirit of teams, knowing that they might not be able to come back in this game. Campbell, little. Win left open, not a good idea. He hits him when he's covered, much less when he's open. Jacob Wynn on autopilot tonight. <laughs> Offensive foul moving screen against Upper Marion. Al, being around this league for all these years, it's one of the best championship game shooting performances I have ever seen. I, I have to agree with you. I mean, that was one of the few times he had an open shot, other than that 40-footer he took. Zellers, another open bucket, and that's 20-point lead. And again, great ball movement by the Rams. Mary trying to get an open shot somewhere. Hershaw, a nice little reverse layup, but no good. Push, 
Campbell. I don't think we're going to see any four corners tonight from Springfield. I don't know, Coach Dempsey's sig signaling there for open. I'm not sure if that's it. They might pull it out a little bit. Yeah. Just get some touches. Still be aggressive, but move the basketball, use some clock. Campbell a little off balance, and here comes Etheridge the other way. Wow. wow. <laughs> Etheridge. Wow. Give Etheridge a 10 on that one. How did he get that off? Just the strength going into Zoller, who's Zoller's, who's going to Maris to play football. <laughs> he just, Zoller's looking at the official like, what the heck just happened there? Had a nice little spin on that thing, too. And three point play. Look for Coach Dempsey to go with his free throw shooting lineup now. That and Upper Marion again still has fouls to give. But Campbell all the way in for the layup. Another high percentage shot. They continue to push. Caleb Little off the pass from Campbell. It is a 21 point lead. Looks like we're gonna get another banner in this gym. Looking for family friendly, pet friendly waterproof floors? Carpet One has you covered. With a huge selection of waterproof flooring, including luxury vinyl, laminate, tile, and introducing Oath by Resista, the next generation of waterproof carpets. Soft, lush, and ultra tough. Spill, soil, and bleach resistant. With a 10 year no exclusions warranty. Carpet One Floor and Home, your choice for waterproof flooring. Hi, it's Rob with Keystone Window. Inflation got you? Make sure you call those other companies with free windows. When you call, ask if you can get the free ones first, just to make sure it's such a great deal. That'll get them scrambling. We will never inflate prices just to say free. Keystone's Energy Star Windows, installed for up to $80 off. I will save you thousands. Call Keystone Window today, 267-308-2500. Better windows and honest price. Need new windows, pick up the phone. Dave, just, I know we're going to talk about it, but just an impressive performance, both sides of the ball for Springford. So impressive, I don't think too many people thought that, that Springford was going to go up 20 on them with 2.41 to yeah. go, but they have just played a marvelous, marvelous game in all facets. Offense, defense, rebounding, passing, shooting. And this Upper Marion team plays tough defense, man. It's not an easy one. They have 72 points on the board. We're at 228 left to play in regulation. Etheridge has had a good game, but that was a little off. And look at him hustling. You gotta, you gotta love that. And Lewis, no! Hershorn, no. Hershorn, come on, why not? Spring forward coaching. Don't foul. Good message. Now they'll hold it out, right? At this point, as a coach, you still foul or not? You call off the dogs. Penetrate, kick, move the ball, everybody be available. Timeout, Springford. 136 left to play, 72-51. At O'Donnell, Weiss, and Matei, our team approach makes all the difference. Business law is complex because it's easy to make costly mistakes. OWM is able to handle any area of law that a business or individual in our community needs. We are the ones who are uniquely talented and uniquely positioned to do that for your benefit. That's what drives me to come to work every day. OWM Law. Your life, your business, your law firm.
there's a place for wood in your backyard. We recommend the fire pit. For looks and performance that outlast a wooden deck, make sure your next deck is built with Trex, engineering what's next in outdoor living. Your Trex expert is A.D. Moyer Lumber, admoyer.com. We're having a little uh, a gymnastics competition. Yep, a little battle of the cheerleaders and love the school spirit. Yep. By both schools. One thirty-six left to play. Dave, number 22, is in the game for Upper Mary, and that's the big game winner from the other night, yep. right? Josh Zimmerman. Coach Q has cleared his bench, and I'm sure Coach Dempsey will take some time and get the seniors out here. Yeah, it's probably going to get a little loud in here. Tyree Banks, he's one of the seniors. I think he put he put them all in so they can get their, their curtain call. Number 20, Alex Lewis, the senior. And Zach Zollers. Michael McKenna as well. Oh yeah, Michael McKenna. Yep. Those three guys do not want to leave the floor. Our final Pac-10 game, and it will be a one to remember as they will put another banner up in this gym. And Michael McKenna will be on the free throw line. Dave, I don't know if you remember, we, about four or five years ago, we went out in the central part of Pennsylvania and saw a team from, I think it was Cedar Cliff or Cedar Crest, and they just played together so well. And I think this is what teams reminds me of. Wait, wait, coach. Sit, sit, sit. Coach, can you have time to lay? Can you dunk it? Come on, Richie Wynn. There's Richie Wynn. Are you guys not back here? I have no idea. <laughs> and here come the seniors. Well, if you're going to go out as a senior, it's the best way to go out as a champion. We're under 47 seconds left. Nice ovation by Ram Nation for yep. those three seniors. Great work, great leadership all year long. Their dedication to the program. You know, you see the guys who are still out there like, wow, they got a lot of talent coming back. <laughs> Couple of good subs. Jacob Wayne checks out, Tommy Kelly comes out. Coach officially clearing the bench here. Twenty-two is Luke Pupko. Number eleven is Jake Delangelo. Number twenty-three is Oben Nkanchu. Got Campbell unofficially with eighteen. For upper Mary, number four is Quinn Seals. And as Dave mentioned, the 22 is Jack Zimmerman. Patrick Rose checks in for Springboard. Checking in for the Vikings. 25, Yusef oh. Riley for Upper Mary. Oh. Cole Gamil. Double zero for Upper Mary. Hit that. Oh, come on, Cole. <laughs> come on, 
Let's go, you got time. Perfect ending. All right, we'll be back to wrap it up after this. At Superior Credit Union, we believe in growing stronger together. So we provide products and services to fit your financial needs and accommodate your busy lifestyle. With convenient services like home banking, e-deposits, account alerts, and a free coin counter for members, come see why Superior Credit Union is growing. Visit any one of our three locations in Collegeville, Royers Ford, and our brand new location in Pottstown. Superior Credit Union. Hi, I'm Joe, and this is Chris, and many of you know us. And we'd like to welcome you to our new showroom here at 618 North Reading Avenue in Boyertown, where we offer color faucets, mowing faucets as well, vanities, tubs, and many accessories. Here we have an operating, high-efficiency, Energy Star rated American Standard Furnace combined with a variable speed AC condenser. Uh, let us install one today to start saving you money throughout the heating and cooling season. Here at Patriot, we now offer kitchen and bath designs. So come visit us today at 618 North Reading Avenue or visit our website at www.patriotmp.com. We're here with winning coach Joe Dempsey. Coach, first of all, congratulations. We were saying at halftime, that was almost like the perfect half you played. You guys you just look so awesome, both defense and offense. Well, I appreciate you saying that. I was not happy with our defense. Upper Marion likes to drive the ball. As I told Coach before the game, it's one of the big concerns I had, and I didn't think we, we suck in their gaps a lot. They got to the rim more. We had a seven-point first quarter, and then obviously they ended up with 25. So uh, that was too much. You know, I don't want to get in a shootout with these guys. They're playing well. They beat Methacton and PV, and, and hats off to them. they got a great program. They're well coached. The kids believe. They're tough kids. But I appreciate you saying that. We, we did play well offensively, but I was a little disappointed in our day, and I, I think we ramped it up the second half. Hey, Coach, you know, one of the things you talked to me about was, you know, team playing a little bit on their heels the last few games and how you felt they had to come out and play to win. Your kids just played terrific basketball and really – carried out all your check marks all your coaching keys tonight you got to be proud of that performance and i am i appreciate that i appreciate that um i uh that was the number one key i didn't want to play to hold on i wanted to play to win i really wanted to play to win make sure the guys went after it you know the last couple of opponents i thought we were a little passive and we had people sort of we were adjusting to them i wanted upper marion to adjust to us so hopefully uh you know, that, that was a result, but yeah, I appreciate that. Coach, congratulations. Go Thank enjoy you. that uh, cutting down Thank the net thing. Well I got a lot deserved. more wins to catch Way up to you. <laughs> Thank you. Well deserved. Thank, Thank, you, Thank you for coming, Scott. Keep Thank going. You. Keep it going. Dave, just, um, you know, I have to say it was a perfect night for Springport, but it was it made, was made more perfect the end by what happened at the end, too, and just, just what an experience all the way around. Yeah, just a special, special night that a lot of people here will cherish for a long time. You know the kids on both teams. I'm sure Upper Marion's disappointed. Um, you know, they had a great performance from Etheridge, uh, and we wish them good luck. They were going to face Pottstown at Pottstown Friday night in the first round of districts in the 5A, but, but spring forward with a tremendous performance. As we mentioned, every facet of the game, passing, shooting, defense, offense, rebounding, just Coach Dempsey and his staff and all the kids, just a really premier performance. How many points do we get for uh, for when? And, and I heard the coach from Upper Marion say, do you miss? I don't remember him missing. It might have been one. Win leads the Rams with 25, Campbell 17, and Little 12, as they were just, all three of them, special, special performances in, in the prime time under the lights of the championship evening. Okay, once again, final score, Spring Ford 74, Upper Marion 55. They are the Pac-12 champions. For Dave Caldwell, I'm Al Ganoza for Gus Tellus. Thanks for watching.